First try. Wild. I'm gonna need a couple of these, so I'm gonna keep doing this for the rest of the night, I guess. And the second, maybe they're not rare. Yeah, three out of four means these aren't rare here. So this is the spot to get them, I guess. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, a fantasy harvest moon. Last night, as I already showed, I got some of the broken hilts that I needed for different items. Broken hilt, nothing but the hilt of an old weapon. Might be useful for something if repaired. And I will be shipping this one. The broken hilt in most games are actually dropped by monster boxes, but in this game they're only found via inquisitive wolves. So I decided to grab that last night so that I can make some stuff today. Kane is finally level 10. 250 HP. It's dazzling for a catches the eye. I'd feel like a princess riding it. <laughs> Those leg movements. Okay. There we go. Got the giant's gloves, and I'm gone. Oh yeah, and I level up, of course. Alright, finally, after a million years. Welcome, today I've got cooking equipment for sale. Have a look around. The large kitchenware. The oven. It takes some getting used to, but some foods just can't be made without an oven. How about 5,000G? Mixers are nice to have. You've got to have one of these. How about 5,000G? If you can cook using a steamer, then your cooking is nearly pro. How about 2,000G? A kitchen knife is one of the most basics of cooking. How about 1,000? You can't cook without a frying pan. How about 2,000G? You know you're a full-fledged chef, uh, chef if you own a good pot. How about 2,500G? And that's all of them. Thanks. This is a nice gift. Thanks. Finally, another week of school is finished. Is it me or is it each week getting longer and longer? There's no school tomorrow. Maybe you can play or something. I get so sleepy on Friday mornings. Are you always that way, Serena? Okay, mom's cooking. Chinese cooking, 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 cooking. Sapphire, diamond. We'll learn the cooking later. Tough, but super accessories. Today, we'll be making recipes that are even more difficult. First is a magic earring. To start with, you'll need a regular pierced earring. Then add some silver to it. Next, use a hard horn. Use some gunpowder to break it down. Then add a magic crystal. Finally, polish it with some fur and we're finished. Next comes raw power, a champion belt. This one is hard to make. Start by making a leather belt. Next, add a silk cloth. Then add a devil horn to strike fear into your opponent. Next, add a bull horn for more fear striking purposes. Attach the horns using glue. Finally, add a hammer piece and you're finished. Next comes the recipe for a feathered cap. First, you'll need to make the fancy hat. Next, add a shoulder piece. Next comes a fish fossil. Use some quality fur to create the inside lining. Next, use some glue. Finally, attach a bird wing to the top of the cap. This last one is a lucky strike. Start with some iron, stretch it out long and thin. Add a proof of warrior next. Next, use a hard horn. Then, add a panther claw. Next, add a hard and tough uh, scorpion pincher. Finally, add a bullhorn and you're finished. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a happy ring. First, we'll need a cursed ring. Then, we'll need another cursed ring. Next, use another cursed ring. And another cursed ring next. Here, I'll be happy in no time. 
use another cursed ring next. Finally, add one more cursed ring. There, now get happy. Did you understand? Yeah, this is absurd. You use six cursed items and it makes one good item. That's the entire lesson. Yeah, we'll give that a shot at some point and see what it does because I don't remember. I don't know that I've made that in this game. So we can finally start cooking. And I'm not sure what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna go check my inventory. Give me just a moment. Cooking's not hard to start. Uh, we're gonna start with the mixer. We don't have much in the way of recipes yet, and I don't feel like using all of these. So instead, we're gonna use a single apple in the mixer. We should have like a 70% chance or something currently. That's rough. And sadly, it does use failed items here. Oh, failed dish, right. A failed charred black attempt at cooking. You can still eat it, but you only taste failure. We will throw this out real quick. There's no sense using that. Wow. I'm very unlucky. There we go, apple juice. Now a single apple juice gives us about a quarter or so of our bar. And the odds of making an apple juice are 73%. So we're gonna eat this real quick. And another one. Mainly just to get the inventory space. Wow. See, my RP is currently 53. A single point. Wow. That is bad. There we go. Biggest issue with this game is that it is so slow to level up. You get like max like a half level per thing if it's a very low odd. And for cooking, that's awful. Because as I just showed with a 73% chance of success, I failed like four items in a row. And if those are hard to get items, then you lose them. It's rough, buddy. So it's very slow to level in this one, sadly, compared to all the others. What do I need to do to open this? For Queen Bee at Machina Valley Holy Statue. They only show themselves at night, so this isn't where I'm going in. The other side, I also can't go in. Crap. Queen bees? You know what, guys? You know what we're ready for? The boss. We're not, but that's fine. I just... I'll be real with you. Um... Everything I want to do is locked behind new stuff. And every time I go, oh, hey, I need this item, it's locked behind another thing that you have to do later. Um, most of the stuff here is locked in the caves, which I cannot get to. But one of the items might be in this shrine up here. So, what's going on? Something's wrong here. This is... Wow, I forgot about this. What is this place? It looks kind of like where I just was, but it feels completely different. Here we go. We'll see if I'm ready for this or not. Machina Valley question mark. That's where we are currently. Yikes, that thing looks creepy. Alright, today's boss is the Bane Dragon, the Guardian of the Bridge. He seems to have a defense of around 15, though the damage range on this enemy is really high. It's weak to earth, and it resists wind. This enemy has a lot of different attacks. Its basic movement attack is its dash attack, which will deal around 50 damage per hit, hitting you until you either get knocked around it, 
or it finishes its animation. Either keep your distance from it to not let it do so, or let it hit you behind it so you can get some extra attacks in from behind. It also has a tongue attack, which deals zero damage, but actually paralyzes you. This is a guaranteed paralysis. Paralysis resistance doesn't seem to do anything here. It has an energy ball attack, where it shoots out three electric balls flying in your direction. These are actually a magic attack, so magic defense will help here. They have an attack of around 45. It also has a jump attack that it will use in two different situations. Either it has pushed you down to the bottom or top of the bridge, and as such, has disappeared and when it reappears, it will jump on top of you. Or, you've gotten behind it, it has to turn around real quick. This attack deals around 80 damage or so. Now the final attack is technically two different attacks, they just have the same effect. When it reaches the top or bottom of the bridge, the Bane Dragon will actually disappear and teleport off to the left or right side, depending on which side it teleports to will be which breath attack it uses. Both have an attack of 50, and both will seal you. So be careful. This enemy can combo you extremely easily, so I'd recommend just being careful around it. Try to either keep your distance and use magic, or up your defense as much as possible and go in for combos. This should be the point in the game you have access to food, so you can try using some foods to up your strength or magic some as well. Other than that, I recommend for you to be around level 25, though people online apparently have trouble with this enemy up to level 30 or 40. Should you keep up with the kind of defense and attack that I have though, you shouldn't have any issue. You've got this. Just keep some way to cure status ailments on you, and you should be good. And no support. Okay. Yep, this guy hurts. Fine, we got this with this defense level. And it paralyzed. <laughs> uh. Oh. Fire. He down here somewhere? Where? Where? What? Oh, you're up there, got it. Skill up. Ah, uh, I'm not level 69 anymore, dang. So... This is more of a fair fight. I was planning on doing this post me getting my next uh, upgrade, and that was the, yep. Yeah. But this is a fair fight. I just don't like them being fair. <laughs> so now you just have a jump attack rather than just jumping to turn around. Done. So yeah, that was correct. Obtain the redstone tablet fragment. <sighs> I did it. Why we got whisked away to another dimension? No idea. Where am I? Oh, I'm back where I started. Well, that was certainly one strange place. Still, I got a new stone tablet. I'll, ma I'll take this and show it to Barrett. Maybe it'll provide some new clues. Only the hunter capable of vanquishing that which preys on the unwary on the bridge may enter. I acknowledge your strength, Aria, Aria, and award you with this. A single drop of this contains the power of life. Recipe for heart drink. A single drop of this draws a line between life and death. A recipe for formulaid. Great, I learned new recipes. Obtain the redstone tablet fragment. Alright, now I can move on. Alright, so this is the shrine entrance. I examined it, but nothing happened. I now am aware that I meant to... 
I think it's in the shrine itself, not the shrine entrance. Which means I probably can't do what I want to do. It's fine. I need to make steady progress. Every day will be something new and exciting. <laughs> so at night, I need to beat up some bees. For now, um, I'm not even sure where to go. I want to go. Won't you show me? I want to go fight all those enemies. So now that I've beaten the boss of Machina, I have to be very careful never to go up from there, or else I'll be fighting the boss to uh, Padova. And I'm not prepared for that. I might be able to win, maybe, but it would cost me all my RP in doing so, and it would be a very close battle, kind of like that first battle with uh, the Dead Tree slash Territory. One of the two names, depending on whether or not you use this game's name or future titles' names. Okay, so I've never actually been down here before. What does it say? Padova Mountain's Flowing River. Padova Mountain's Freezing Cave. Padova Mountain Tomb. Tomb all the po filled, so... Okay. Mm okay, let's kill the monster spawner. Okay, from off screen's not cool. Level up, though. Nice. Oh, there was another monster spawner around here somewhere. There we go. So, I need to cure the poison there. So I have to take care of that after. But for now, I'll take advantage of the fact that there are no enemies spawning and just destroy all these. I actually just got a skill up. Wild. My mining level is 98. One more until I'm at max. And yet I'm still not confident to get constant good resources. That's rough, buddy. Oh well. Be right back. I'm just gonna buy an entire stack of neutral agent. Make sure that I destroy all the poison everywhere with it. And just call that good. Also means I'm full though, sadly. How are you? Oh, Denari, congratulations on defeating the giant, dangerous monster that made Machina Valley its domain. I'd love to hear the story of your battle when you have time. Just between us, Nino might be a boy, but I think a pleated skirt would really suit him. Don't you think that's just the most wonderful thing? Concern. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Arya. You just keep getting stronger and stronger, are you? But I'm a little worried about you. It's Friday today. Look, Roy can't sit still in case he's thinking of what to do on the weekend. Roy is not here. Let me by. Hello. Good Hello. Afternoon. Good afternoon. You're getting stronger and stronger. It's the end of another week. If I'm correct, Arya, some very powerful magic is written upon this tablet. You were able to read it? Not a whole bit. Mana sent a letter to the Royal Cap College in Palermo, the capital of Norad. They allowed us to use some of their texts, and we have finally been able to make progress on the tablet. The only reason we were able to have any contacts in the Royal College is at all is because Kyle built the school. Dad? Normally, a town this size of Alvarna would never have its own school. Children are typically homeschooled by their own parents. I remember when Kyle wanted to build the school. We all thought he was crazy, but if he hadn't... We wouldn't be able to decipher the tablet. It's all because of him. Because of Dad. I'm going to take a little more time to fully understand the writings. It seems like no one at the Royal College can read it either. But we have you here. For some reason, you seem to be able to read this tablet. With your help, we might be able to become the first people in ages to read Earth Script. Wow! You keep finding these amazing tablets one after another, Arya. It almost seems like someone has been leaving them for you to find. This tablet looks like it's only one part of the whole. I think there must be more pieces to find yet. Time to start class. Okay.
today I'll teach you the best shield. So let's start with the rune shield. Your base will be a knight shield. You will also need to use another shield, the chaos shield. Strengthen your shield with a bullhorn. Align the edges of the shield with a rage fang. So this is, you know, final shield time. You'll need glue to reinforce your shield. Finally, use a broken box for the grip. Another item that's at the end of the game. Any questions? The elemental shield will protect you from the elements. First, you need to start with a magical shield. Next, make a devil cord into the shape of a cross. Into a cross shape. in devil blood and let it cool. In the back of the shield, place a hood. Next is the grip. You'll need to use a broken hilt. Finally, wrap a silk cloth around it. So those are the final two shields, but we can't actually make either of those. Because, you know, final dungeon stuff. Oh, I didn't realize after one you could still get okay hey what do we get today today you're having a baked rice bowl yes mm -hmm. or your backpack's full that's too bad see you tomorrow what but but yeah, i'll be back tomorrow that's not the correct voice also shout out to walking up to a child being like oh you can't fit this in your pocket that's too bad like come on just hand it to me put it in my hands the fact that it has to go in my backpack rather than being in, in my hands is stupid. <laughs> ah! Okay. Now to make an item that I don't actually have the recipe for. So, as you see, we go straight from the round shield up to the rune shield. Obviously, the rune shield's not quite what we're looking for here. So instead, ignore the percentage rate of zero, we're going to add in two platinum the round shield, hard horn, quality cloth, and giant's gloves. And I, uh, we should be able to just make this. I don't think it will fail. Yep, platinum shield. And now real quick, let's check the upgrade for it. So the upgrade only has a 10% chance and uses two platinum. So it's not a great item for upgrading, unless you want to spend a lot of money or just, you know, get really lucky with platinum. But it's higher level, so should we want to, we could do that. More importantly though, platinum shield. A very hard shield made from extra pure platinum. Throwing it down a building has no impact. At level three, it has 12 defense, so that's already good. We need to upgrade it, of course, because, you know, I always want to have the best stuff. And it gives you a poison resistance, which is always nice. And that also means that we finally, you know, have a bit more inventory space to work with. So give me just a moment. Okay, over here at the mixer, we're actually going to pop an orange to get orange juice. Orange juice is level 5 recipe, has a 73% chance currently. So it's a decent one to use. There we go, skill increased. Despite having 82% chance, we're gonna keep doing these. If we come over here, we're gonna actually want to buy a stack of rice and a stack of flour. Orange juice. Fresh oranges squeezed dry to make juice. Behind the crisp acidity lies the perfect sweetness. Ship that entire stack. Now over here at the basic preparation area, we're going to use a single rice to make the rice ball. And we're also going to use one of our pink turnips to make pickled turnip. The other rice I'll just keep making rice balls with, which we have... There it is. A 91% chance, so let's do it. Alright, now the level 6 recipe for bread. 
Just a single flour. How you can make bread without an oven? Or any other kind of way to cook? No idea. But we do it, I guess. Honestly, I think how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to include all the failures and that's it. Which there has been none of thus far. Because you seeing success 20 times isn't entertaining. There we go. Skill increased. So I'm currently cooking level 5. Uh, grape juice would probably be the best thing currently. Do I have grapes? You got any grapes? Yep. Okay, head over here to the mixer. Put a single grape in. For grape juice. The 73 is killing me. Also, I have too many items now. Teleportation! Okay. Rice bowl. Rice pressed into a triangle shape, often packed in lunches as they can be eaten on the move. Pickle turnip. Pickle turnip. Its refreshing taste is great for cleaning the palate. Failed dish. A failed charred black attempt at cooking. You can still eat it, but you only taste failure. Bread. A staple of cooking. Can be toasted or filled and used in a variety of dishes. Grape juice. Fresh grape juice. Very sweet with a strong enticing aroma. There we go. All those, and now I just need energy and to heal. Good afternoon, Arya. The school is yours. Please use it as you see fit. Okay. We're gonna go after the Goblin Gangster today. Occurred to me I didn't bring Kane, but I don't need Kane for this mission, so it's fine. Up here, right. Number one. No. Number one? Did I... What? Oh. I'm what we call stupid. I forgot to accept the quest. I'm a Dumbo. It's fine. If I try, are ya? Good to see. We'll make a boy of you yet. This time, I want you to defeat ten goblin gangsters. Goblin gangsters live on Blessy Island. They're nasty lots, so be careful. I'm expecting you to live up to your potential. Goodbye. To the care. Goodbye, number one. Defeated the target monster. That's five. He defeated your quota of the target monster. Alright. Now, the reason we actually did that right now is because I believe the next quest is going to be for a night monster. And I have to take care of some night monsters anyway, so might as well take care of that now. Impressive, you did it! Goblin Gangsters have been known to attack ships passing close by to the island, so they got what they deserved. I've got a reward for you as well. 2000 G. Another step closer to becoming a true warrior. Keep it up, Arya. Heck yeah! We're a warrior manner! Shadow Panther. That sword is really starting to look natural on ya. I'm gonna push you a little this time. This time I want you to defeat ten Shadow Panthers. They're nocturnal, meaning you only have to hunt them for meaning you'll have to hunt for them once it gets dark. They're not as strong as they look, so you should be able to deal with them pretty easily. They can get nasty when they're angry though. Fair enough. AK they have a attack when you attack them, so be careful. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna actually gonna wanna head over here and grab a bunch of grapes. Both from this tree. As well as the one all the way over here. Grapes are the next step up in cooking, so it's probably best that we take care of this now. So 73% chance. Let's see how this goes. Oof. Let's actually drop these in here since I don't need them on me right now. Grape juice. There we go. Skull of increased. With our 82% chance, we should have a lot better luck now. Okay, do I have the recipe for this one? I do not. So I don't have the recipe for this one, 
But if you put a pumpkin, a spinach, a carrot, and a pink turnip into the blender, into the mixer rather, you get vegetable juice. Vegetable juice has a 91% chance, so we'll be making two more of these. Now we're taking one of these vegetable juice and one of these milks and blending them together. Dang it. Another one. There we go. Vegetable ole. Into Trieste up here. We're gonna head over here and grab a bunch of apples, since we need them for multiple things. And now here on Blessia, we're actually just gonna come right up here. We need pineapples. And I might as well water these to get more growing. And we also need more oranges. And since it's night, let's take care of our little friend, not these. Over here, maybe? No. Down here? No, that's a tur- Where are the Shadow Panthers now? Maybe over here? There we go. Defeated the target monster. Curio? Defeated five. Gotta love the boxes glitching out on each other. There we go. Defeated your quota. We, of course, won't be able to turn this in until tomorrow, but that's fine. I actually need oranges from up here as well. Once again, I don't have a recipe, but if I put a pineapple, a grape, an apple, and an orange in here... The fruit juice. Now, this should be a 100% chance of making... Yes. Okay, now that we've made three of those, let's put our stuff away. We're actually going to need another vegetable juice. And I don't have to do this now, but I'm actually going to do this one more. Another one. Now, we don't have the recipe for this, but it shares the same level with uh, grape juice. So if we take a fruit juice and a milk, fruit allay, skill level increased. We need one more fruit allay. And we actually need another vegetable ole. There we go. Fruit ole. Fruit and milk combined in a smoothie. In a smooth, easy to drink mixture. Try it and you'll be hooked. Vegetable ole. Vegetables mixed with milk to take off its bitterness. Some people actually like this unique flavor. Vegetable juice. Juice packed with highly nutritious vegetables. Addicting even though it is bitter and not so tasty. Fruit juice. A mixture of fruit juices. Twice the flavor, twice the nutrition. Four times the enjoyment. So... Yeah. Vegetable juice. Fruit juice. Fruit ole. Vegetable ole. Now we're actually going to need one more fruit juice. Now for the next one, I'm actually going to throw a pineapple in all by itself. Another one. There we go, pineapple juice. Caribou, Malibu, make a mold on. I actually do have the recipe for this one. I have a 73% chance of making butter. There we go. Butter, churned milk, unlikely to be eaten alone, generally used as an ingredient in other dishes. And pineapple juice. Juice, fre juice freshly squeezed from fresh pineapples. Has a beautiful color, fragrance, and sweet, sweet taste. There we go, we're good. Holy statue, and these are the hornets. So let's beat them up. I defeated four queen bees. Let's see, what's that last part? Defeat five hobgoblins at Machina Valley Withered Road. They disappear after sunset. So we have to do this during the day. Crap, I forgot it was one of these. Okay, we'll do this tomorrow then. Hobgoblins. Mean. Mean and rude, giving my hopes up. I could do something tonight.
I just had the crap kicked out of me. So all the way up here, if it would let me interact, it's disappearing. Obtain the ice stone tablet fragment. Well then, let's keep going. All right, and up here. Is a spawner for one of these. Nothing great up here, as far as I can tell. I guess if you were only going for that thing's drop, that would be a good way to do it. I believe this is magic crystals or powder. I don't remember which one. Well, if I had access to gunpowder, I could actually make one of the uh, earlier on mixer recipes that I haven't made yet. It's literally the lowest level one. But I don't have access to that, so we're not going to do that today. I was hoping to take care of most of the mixer recipes today, because I'm looking at my list, and yeah, I absolutely could do all of them except for one. But it's not worth, you know, if I'm not, if I'm not going to be able to do them all, I should be forcing myself here. So let's uh, switch over from the mixer over to something else for the moment. We need to make one more butter. And now over here at the oven, we throw in a butter and a corn to make corn on the cob. Skill will increased. Now over here at the oven, we're actually going to take our bread and throw it in. And it's not guaranteed. I don't think I have the recipe for it, at least. There we go. I believe it's a 73% chance currently. Yes, I am correct. We make toast. Make and toast! Butter and toast! Nope, had to have a failure eventually. Skill of increased. We're not even close to leveling up on that one. Wow. I forgot how bad experience these give. So I have the recipe for this, so I might as well make it. Rice ball. The baked rice ball. Baked rice ball. Skill level increased. The nice part of these is how inexpensive rice and flour are in the grand scheme of things. Look, Ma! Only hands! Throw in a cucumber. Make sure I don't have the... I do have the recipe for this, actually. I actually really like the little song for that. Now over here at the pot, we're going to throw in an egg, and because this is a large egg, we may not be able to do this, or this may be the one that we can do. Uh, give me just a second. Yeah, no, this is a level 12 recipe. So, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Did it. And we throw in a large milk, and because this is a large milk, we will have mixed results. It's a level 10 recipe, so it's not guaranteed. Though I think I'm level 9, so almost guaranteed. And now we have recipes for both of those. Hot milk, depending on what uh, kind of milk you use, will give a different experience level. Same for eggs. And it's a significant one for eggs. It's doubling each time rather than just adding two. Which is odd to me, but it's fine. And <laughs> yeah, we didn't have bad odds. Okay, we have corn on the cob. Frequently roasted corn. Sweet and juicy. Pickles. Cucumbers pickled for a very short period. Very popular to munch on. Baked rice ball. A rice ball that has been baked. It's crispy crunch, just can't be beat. Hot milk. The simplest of dishes. Just warm milk. Very relaxing. It's perfect on a sleepless night. Boiled egg. Simple dish using eggs. Can be runny or hard, depending on cooking time. Hard boiled is a favorite. And toast. Beautifully brown bread. Fights daily with cereal for the title of King of Breakfast. Shipping toast! There we go. A bunch more shipped. I'm actually about to be level 29. Rad, we actually love to see that. And out of curiosity, um, for cooking, I have cooked 16% today of all the dishes. Or, I guess I haven't because marmalade and stew and things were already shipped. So that's not fair. But... I've cooked a lot of them, probably. 
Never mind. Well, no, I can go get EM. Easy. 3z5 Maisy. Okay, we're gonna come over here. We're actually gonna steal a bunch of these. And, of course, water them again. Like before, we are going to need a butter. Now let's give it a shot. Let's give it all that we've got. One yam and one butter. Roasted yam. Skill of increased. That puts us at 11 currently. It's a bit of a gamble, but if we throw a fruit and a vegetable juice in together, I believe this will mean that we have a 73% chance, and we know how bad my luck is, so hopefully it'll work. There we go, mixed juice, cool. My bar was about empty on this one, so that gave us a very paltry sum. Why? <laughs> That's fine, though. Okay. Now we take these tomatoes. Perfect. Really quick, with an intermediate pull, can I get what I want from this real quick? Cherry salmon. I believe that's what I wanted. Done! <laughs> I believe the 13th is actually the festival. So, tomorrow's a festival day, which means it'll be a short one. Well, I, I'll be cooking, so it won't be a short one. But you know what I mean. Okay, we need apples. Apple, Morgan, apple! Cherry salmon? Cherry. There we go. Cherry sashimi. Our first sashimi. Okay. Over here at the mixer, if we throw in a tomato and an onion, we make the level 6 recipe the ketchup. And if we throw in just a tomato, we make the level 11 recipe tomato juice. How that works, I don't know. Now over here at the pot, if we throw in an apple, apple jam. There we go. Now, as far as power leveling goes, this is a decent way to do it. Yeah, that gives us around 20% or so, at least. Things like the apples and oranges and grapes aren't bad to waste, to take some risks with, because you know you're going to be getting so many per every three days or so. I believe I already shipped this, but I'll read it just to be certain. Fresh grape juice. Very sweet with a strong, enticing aroma. Cherry sashimi. Slices of raw cherry salmon served up for consumption, generally eaten with soy sauce. Roasted yam. A slow roasted yam, prevalent in the fall, often baked in the flames of a campfire. Ketchup. A condiment made from tomatoes. Goes well with eggs, potato dishes, not to mention hamburgers. Apple jam. A sweet preserves made from apples, generally eaten spread on bread or toast. Make it toast! Tomato juice. Juice packed with the rich nutrients from tomatoes. A little bit thick. Extra thick. This is not my fault. I didn't see it. I don't know why. Color. Maybe it's because my microphone's right in the way. I don't know. Mixed juice. A mix of fruit and vegetable juices. Sweet, easy to drink, and super good for you, too. I actually like mixed juice. Uh, vegetable juice is a bit better, and I bitter is the one flavor profile I'm not a fan of. And uh, I down it because it's good for me, but whatever. I really love fruit juices, though. So this is like a perfect mix of them, I guess. Now over here at the pot, I'm assuming I don't have the recipe for it. I do not. If I throw in a spinach... There we go, boiled spinach. Skill of increased. I knew that was gonna be a risk. I was still like four levels below that, and I knew that, but the reason I didn't care is that I'll be getting so much spinach in just a couple days that who cares? Worst case scenario, you know, I wait two days and then make it out of one of the 36 I'm about to finish growing. I also apparently have spinach seeds in here that I didn't realize. Maybe I bought an extra or something, I don't know. Oh, no, they were from the quest. They were from that mission. Right. Weird. Alright, if you head over to the pot and you throw in an orange, you get a marmalade. Nice. 
decent bit, like a quarter. You head over to the mixer, you throw in a milk, a strawberry, and for some reason heavy spice? You get strawberry milk. Head over to the pot, and you throw in a strawberry. I do not have any guarantee on this. Let's see what's the... Uh, I have an 64% chance currently. Just blow two out of three and I fail twice in a row. It hurts. If I fail three times in a row, I'm going to be mad. There we go. Strawberry jam. I have the recipe for this and it's only a 46% chance. Let's hope I can make at least one. So logically, this one will succeed if, you know, the suck rate is actually accurate. Logically, this one will succeed, assuming the suck rate is actually accurate. <laughs> there we go. Any item will do it. So because I'm about to level up pretty much no matter what, I'm going to make another butter because I know I'm going to need it for something along the line. Down the line, whatever. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it all that we've got. Yeah, I figured. There we go. There we go. See if I can't get a second one. Cherry salmon. Nice. If we open up the frying pan, do I have the recipe? Besides the thousand different ways to make pancakes, depending on what kind of egg or milk you have. <laughs> Wild, I forgot about that. Okay, so these have the same level. 73% chance. Let's do it. There we go. Salted cherry salmon. Skill level increased. Okay, on the frying pan, like I already sh showed, like I already showed, we have the recipe for this. Actually, wait, I just realized I never made this a hot, hot fruit and an apple. Got it. That's why I didn't make it. It's literally the top one. What am I doing? If we throw a single corn on, we have an 82% chance. 82% chance again. Okay, I want to keep... Actually, I think I only need two corn for other recipes. I'll make two more. Okay, after all those, our cooking level is pretty close to going up again. Perfect, skill level increased. I believe I have enough strawberries to make the rest of the recipes I want to. Now, in the mixer, we're going to throw in our fruit and vegetable olays. I think I said them in the wrong order, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. To make the mixed olay. Now, that is a level 18 recipe. That was a slight gamble, but that's fine. Um, where is it? Mixed olay right here. 18. We only had a 73% chance there, but I'm glad we did that there. Rad. All right, strawberry milk, a mixture of strawberries and milk. The ratio of the two depends on one's taste. Sweet and easy to drink. Mixed away, fruit, veggies, and milk all combine to create the ultimate balanced drink, the gateway to good health. Salted cherry salmon, cherry salmon salted then fried. The fresher the fish, the tastier it would be when cooked. Grape jam, a sweet preserve made from grapes, generally eaten spread on butter or on uh, bread or toast. Make and toast. Strawberry jam. A sweet preserve made from strawberries, generally eaten spread on butter or toast. Marmalade. A sweet preserve made from oranges. The peels are also grated and in up, grated up and included. I would recommend to keep one of your strawberry, uh, one of your jams of each different type, or just you know make them again later. It's fine either way. I'll actually do it that way. I'll get grapes in a few days and do it that way. Because you can make uh, jam rolls, and those are pretty nice. Popcorn. Corn kernels heat until they pop. Generally eat and salted. But sugar, even caramel, will also work. And finally, boiled spinach. Spinach boiled, then flavored. Boil it for too long, and it'll completely lose its flavor. Alright. There we go. Burning through our inventory, little by little. Now, guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy harvest moon. 
Um, I'm not sure how close we are to getting into that stupid cave. Uh, it might be tomorrow, might be three days from now, I'm not sure. But tomorrow will be a festival, which means we're going to focus on the festival. I'll probably do more cooking and crafting and whatnot. I'll just try to keep progress going. Um, the next few episodes are going to be primarily that kind of thing. Just trying to get to areas to then get crafting materials and, you know, waiting for things to grow whenever I realize that I don't have something. Things like that. Um, I realized that I don't have strawberries, so that would have been a really good item to grind with. It would have been nice if I had, you know, like, you know, a bunch of strawberry plants, but I don't. So, oops. <laughs> I instead have a bunch of flowers that I'm not using. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you all next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.